Oh, you and I know the Grand Oh, we're, we're recording now, guys. We're recording. All right. So, <laughs> the Parkman Star. The Parkman Star is refitted into a building that occupies uh, an individual retail unit. One such. It, it, it's bounded by a wall. So, you can see your. Uh, basically, see your wall here. Okay. We don't know how far to go along this line here. This line here is like uncertain. Okay. But what we are certain of is that the area has to be 40. So A equals a half, AB equals C. Your 40 has to equal, we'll call this uh, X, this side X, okay? So it's a half, 6.5 times X sine 68. Now, what I tend to do in situations like this, I tend to highlight the parts I can do without, with the calculator. I can put all that into the calculator straight away. So, when I put that into the calculator, make sure it's in degrees mode. It's a half, uh, plus a 6.5, sine 68. Okay. Sine 68. 3.0. And 3.0133, three, right? So it's 3.0133 will do, right? So, what I'm basically saying is 40, 40 equals 3.013 times x. And then 40 divided by your answer, at the 40 divided by the 3.013. 40 divided by 3.017. 3. 3. 3. 3. And you get 13.27, <coughs> or 2 eighths as it turns out, because it rounds up. Divided by the answer, so 2 eighths. Okay, yeah, so it could be 13.27 or 13.2 way, depending on what way you rounded it off or whether you kept your answer and used it in the calculator function. Okay, now the next part is more of an arithmetic type question. Okay, so you go down, all right, he has an annual budget for this much for rent. Given that the apartment store charges a monthly rent of 28 per meter squared. Find how far along the wall the retail unit should extend if it is to make enough money just to justify an annual rent of 16800 Give your answer correct to the nearest centimetre. Okay, that's interesting. Now, what I have to do here is I have to divide 16800 is how much money I can afford. Okay? Now, one meter squared would cost me 28 quid. Two meters squared would cost me, anybody? 40, 56. 56 quid. How many meters squared would I would cost me 16,800? That's what I'm trying to figure out. 16,800 by 28, what you get? 600. Sorry? I can afford a place. I can afford a place that's 600 meters squared. 600 meters squared is bigger than the <laughs> bigger than the 40 meters squared in the first question, right? So we're talking about an absolutely gigantic length. Now, remember we said earlier that the uh, it's a half a sine c equals. 600 meters squared. Do you remember we said that this part is fixed, this has to be 6.5. But there's nothing stopping us from having a gigantic length and having a piece of piece that big. Do you understand? So we're going to find out our new length. It's going to be a lot bigger than our old length. Okay? <coughs> so a half 6.5. Uh, X or Y, call it Y this time. Sine 68 equals. We've already done this, haven't we? Yeah. As in, we've already done a uh, half times 6.5 times sine 68. It's 3.013. Y equals 600 divided by 600. One ninety nine, one three seven. Okay, that's important. One ninety nine, one three seven. Yeah. 
that's 199 meters. How many centimeters is that? 1 meter <coughs> is 100 centimeters. Multiply by 100. Multiply by 100. 19913 point. Zero, zero. Oh, seven, zero, seven. Yeah. There you go. Have right with that? Moving on. Okay. I'm going to use area equals uh, a half or a squared. Theta. After this, what am I using that for? The slice. What do we know about this formula in regards to theta? That's pure radians. Okay. I have 12 squared 5 pi over 6. Mm -hmm. Anybody get that? Somebody give me the number for that? Huh? 65. 65. Thanks, Dave. Now, I'm going to do the area of the uh, triangle next. 5 pi over <coughs> 6, 12 and 12. Half A, B, sine C, yeah? What do we get here? A half, 12 by 12, sine 5 pi over 6. Please make sure that your calculator is in radian mode. What do you get, David? 36. 36? Yeah. Now, how do I get this part here then? Take the big one away from the small one. Alright, so uh, the small one from the big one, yeah? What do I have a negative answer? Oh. And that's your answer, isn't it? 60 pi minus 36. You're done. You have to like cross answer if you see what happened. Yeah, that's right, that's what I asked you for. You can just check the back of the book down and confirm your answer. Who got that? Alright. So the, the the description of how to do the questions work for you, so right? Now this one here. The problem with this question compared to the previous questions is a complete lack of real numbers, yeah? So but it's actually it's actually exactly the same technique. Minor segment, major segments. Show the sine t equals t. Sine. Whoa, what's that about? Sine t equals t to minus forty five. Okay, this is this is an interesting one now, right? The chord PQ divides the circle into a minor segment, the shaded region. And a major segment such that the ratio of the areas of the segments are two is three. All right. The card PQ. Okay. That's interesting. So, uh, do, you, do you know how I'm reading this? See this full section here. Yeah. What well, I'm reading that as, and I hope you agree with me, is that I'm reading that this here is the minor section, and this here is the major section. Would you agree with that? Now, let's focus all our energy on the minor section, because let's be honest, the major section is pi r squared minus the minor section. How do I know that? It's the full circle minus the, the black part, yeah? That makes sense? Full circle minus the black part. Mm -hmm. So that, that's easy enough. Just got, we got to repeat the procedure we did in the first part. What formula did we use in, uh, to get the full... What formula did we use to get this part here? All of it. Half, okay, half r squared theta. Okay, call that A1. <coughs> now what was A2? Well done, you, you beat me to it. What is the area of the triangle? And Sean put me right and said the half AB sine C. But given that both A and B are radiuses, what can we do here? A half, anybody? R <coughs> A half R squared uh, sine theta. Okay, to get the shaded part, we took A2 away from. A1, <coughs> so a half r squared theta minus a half r squared sine theta. What's next? 
uh, they don't cancel, you factorise them out. In the same way you have xy plus xz, you take the x's out and you're left with y plus z. Yeah. Sorry? Just t to one side. Uh, t to? Yeah. Is that, is that what I was asked to get? Yeah. Would you not have to put the half and R squared in <coughs> one now into that equation because... If you multiply it back out, Rory, yeah. it's exactly the same okay. thing. Good. Yeah, it does multiply it back out, if you're on sure. All right. Check the mechanism of memory, if you multiply it back out, yep. it's the same thing, you're right. Okay. Now, show that the area of the major segment is this much here. What does it say about the major again? Major is pi r squared minus all of this. Yeah, minus all of that. Now, so what's minus all of this? Change the signs. So it's going to be minus a half, and what about the other part? Uh, minus minus makes a plus. What can I factorize out here? <coughs> Can't not. There's no half here, so it's just R squared, right? And look, it's done for you. So just R squared pi minus a half theta uh, minus plus sine theta over two. Everybody happy enough with that? Now. Show that sine theta is equal to <coughs> theta minus 4 pi over 5. So I'm basically being asked to do this part here. Okay. Now I'm giving a bit of information, am I? What does 2 is the tree mean? 2 is the tree. For every 2 euro get, the other person gets? 3. One of them is, uh, basically one of them is two fifths the size of the full circle, the other one is three fifths the size of the full circle. Okay, so it's, it's, it's basically, uh, if you want to, if you want me to really cut it down, it's like this, all right? Imagine that this section's worth two and this section's worth three. Yeah? How can I make them be equal? I would argue that two times, two times the major would be worth how much? Six. Six. What would three times the minor be worth? Six. So would you agree that I can make an equation that's equal by saying two times the major section equals three times the, the minor section? Does that make sense? Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So that's what, exactly what we're going to do. What's the major section again? The major section is... Uh, I do. R squared. I do believe it's a. Uh, before I broke it up, it's this formula here, isn't it? Where did you get this fire strike? Uh, it's the full circle. Oh. So that there, yeah? Gonna multiply that by. Two times the major? Two. Two. So I'm gonna get what? Two pi r squared. Two pi r squared, yeah? Minus two. Two times a half? No, four, five. No, two times a half. No. Four. Just one. Mm -hmm. Minus r squared theta. Two times that one. Huh? Uh, one. Just r squared theta. Oh. Three times the minor. The minor is in yellow. So three times that. Three over two. R squared theta. One is three over two r squared sine theta. One is three over two. Now, oh, I'm missing something, am I? Sorry, sorry. That that one there is a. Sorry, sorry. I just, uh, I just, I just, it's it's there, sure. Because uh, I, uh, I, they should cancel. Uh, just sense, I suppose. Now, let's have a look. What does it want me to get on its own? It wants me to get sine theta on its own on the left. And everything else to the right. right. Anything that has a sine theta will go over one side. 
So I'm going to use my R squared sine theta, this lad here. I'm going to combine it with this one here. So that'll be plus 3 over 2 R squared sine theta. What else? Everything else goes to the right hand side. So 3 over 2 <coughs> R squared theta. What about this guy here? Plus R squared theta. And then the last part is minus 2 pi R squared. Do you notice everything has an R squared in it? Yeah. What does that mean? Divide both sides by R squared. Okay, let me show you why. 5x plus 3x equals 6x plus 2x. Everybody agree? The balance is completely independent of the x's being there. Still balances, right? That's effectively what I did with the R squares. If everything has an R squared, I can get rid of the R squares. If everything has an X, I can get rid of the X's. Everybody right with that? Balance is still there. Now, I only got 5 over 2 sine theta. I'm going to get 5 over 2 theta minus 2 pi. Now, this thing has a 4 pi over 5. So, I want sine theta on its own, don't I? Divide both sides by 5 over 2. Divide everything by 5 over 2. What happens to the first? What happens here? And sine theta on its own. Exactly what we were asked to do. On its own. And finally, 2 pi divided by that. Well, you're going to get 4 pi over 5 when you use your calculator. And long and behold, that's my answer. Uh, you're gonna have to do that again over the weekend, right? Yeah. Exactly. So we're gonna do it again. Is it recording? Yes, it is. <laughs> now. Oh. <laughs>